Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to our playthrough of Arkham Horror 2nd Edition where we are playing tendrils from below and trying to stop the evil Nyogtha from waking from his slumber and destroying humanity and in order to do that we've got four investigators on the job now, last episode we entered enchanted territories in the fact that I didn't make another mistake. So that's three in a row. So woo! Let's, <laughs> let's have a cheer. Three episodes in a row. No, no, no mistakes. Fantastic. Sorry, Stosia, but I'm, I'll do my best. I'll try and make a mistake and then Cat Weasel's cock up corner can return. All right. So that's it for the introduction. Let's get straight into the upkeep phase where our first player will be Sister Mary. And here we are at the upkeep phase. First things first, we've got to refresh any cards. So we do have the relationship card, fellow travelers. That needs to be flicked around. Okie dokie, having done that, it's straight on to Sister Mary. And first things first, yes, she's got to roll for her blessing. So come on, Mary, let's be having it. Another two, that's good enough. And she has to roll for her bank loan. So anything over a three, we get a two. Damn it. So she's got to pay a dollar back to the bank. So that goes back into the supply. And are we gonna mess around with her sliders? No, we're not. We're gonna keep them as they are. So what we can do now is we can go straight on to Rita Young, who is down here. So first thing for Rita is she gets a couple of dollars because she has a retainer. So there we go, she's got four dollars. And because she's got a retainer, that means she has to roll for it. So, come on, Rita. And she gets a one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that retainer go. I'm not going to roll for it with the personal story of Sister Mary. I want to save those re-rolls for the actual blessings. So, unfortunately, she's lost her retainer. But she did well out of it. I mean, she must have got $20 at least out of it, so uh, that's pretty good going for a retainer. So there we go, she's lost a retainer, and she's still got $4 anyway, so it's not like she's completely skint. She's still got enough to uh, heal herself of uh, any wounds or any sanity loss, so that's pretty good. Um, as regards her sliders, they'll stay the same, and yeah, that's it for her. So we'll move on to William Yorick, who's down here. And the first thing we've got to do with William is to roll for his blessing. So away you go, William. He gets a two, that's fine. He keeps his blessing. Great stuff. And is he going to move any of his sliders? No, he isn't. And yeah, that's it for him. He's got $11. So uh, what we might do is... Uh, we might have him shopping, and he's not too far from the general store, so we might send him there, I think. Okay, that's it for William. Next up is Wilson. Wilson is up here, and guess what? Yes, he has got a roll as well. So let's see if he can keep his blessing. A one. Dun, dun, dun. This is exactly why I let Rita Young lose hers, because we're going to use... Sister Mary's personal story, which means we can re-roll a die during the upkeep phase. And we get a two, which is good stuff. So, he does keep his blessing. Glad I did that. And, yeah, we can get rid of that off there now. Don't need to roll for anything else. Right, is he going to change his sliders? Yes, he is. He's going to move his fight up slightly. He's going to move it up to two. So uh, let's move his fight up a tiny bit. And that is it for Wilson. So yes, we lost the retainer there for Rita, but uh, fortunately that meant 
that we could keep the blessing for Wilson. So just had a gut feeling there. So I thought, no, she's done pretty well on her retainer. She's got quite a lot of money through it. We'll let it slide. So uh, well done me. That's what I say. Right, uh, next up, it's the movement phase. And here we are in the movement phase with Sister Mary. So she has got a speed of four. So she's going to go one, two, three into the police station. She's going to pop there into the police station. And what she's going to do is she is then going to use fellow travellers, which will give her another movement point. So she's got two spare movement points and she is going to use the alien statue again so that's going to cost her a sanity she goes down to six sanity and let's just refresh our memories we exhaust and spend two movement points we've done that and one sanity we've done that to roll a die if it is a success so she's blessed to remember and we get a six it is a success and what we're going to do is we are once again going to take the clues. So that's three clues she gets from using the alien statue. Put that back on her player tray along with the clues. She now has six clues. So I wanted her to get down here. She's got six clues. She's got enough to close a gate. And she should be able to reach the witch house, which is down here next turn. So great stuff from mary okay that's it for mary next up it is rita young and here we are with rita she's right up here in the unnameable she's got plenty of movement she's got six so one two three four right into the woods and uh, yep yeah, let's get her into yugoth let's try and seal that gate remember she does have an elder sign Okay, that's it for Rita. After her is William Yorick. And here we are with William. Oh, hang on. Let's take that out of the way. Right, William is not going to go very far at all. He's just going to go one, two into the general store. Perhaps he'll be able to find a nice weapon or some nice common item in there. Got to get him ready for killing any monsters or whatnot. You never know, we might have a monster surge, something like that. So let's get him prepared. Okay, that is it for William. After William, it's our final investigator for the movement phase, who is Wilson Richards. And here we are with Wilson. He is there. He's right up at the top there. So he's got four movement as it stands at the moment. So he's going to go one, two, three to Miss the Miskatonic University Streets. Then I'm just going to move the camera, won't be a second. And for his final movement, he's just going to pop into the library. He is on his way down here, but uh, I thought he may as well, like, on his way. He's going to South Church. He does have a Abyss Gate Trophy, so we will try and use him as a backup just in case somebody needs Blessing again. So on his way there, though, I thought he may as well stop off. Uh, even with his motorcycle, he can't get to South Church. Um, in one go So I thought he'll go to the library. We don't often go to stable locations And I thought we'd pop into the library for a bit of a change. How's that? Okay, so that's it for Wilson next up is the Arkham Encounter phase And here we are with Mary in the police station. Now it does have a text encounter here, but uh, that involves spending a whole lot of gate trophies or monster trophies to become deputy of Arkham. She hasn't got any. So what she's gonna do is very similar to Wilson. We are gonna have an actual stable location encounter. Won't that make a nice difference? Now it's the gray deck, which is East Town. So we'll give it a bit of a shuffle and a cut. And we'll see what is going on at the police station. If you succeed, a look minus one check. 
Right, so it's a luck minus one check. Her luck is three, minus one is two. But I think she's got something to help her somewhere. She got the lantern. Plus one to luck checks from the lantern. She's good. So she's actually going to roll three dice. Three blessed dice. Good, good, good. Where is, there it is. Let's see if we get success. We get three successes. So we've got a four, a five, and a six. Brilliant stuff. Let's see if it gives us any goodies. Then Deputy Dingby, absent-mindedly, leaves you holding his gun. You may search the common item deck for a 38 revolver card and take it. Now, I think William Yorick's got a 38 revolver, but I'll just check the deck and just see if there's a second one. Won't be a moment. And I'm back. Yes, indeed, there is a second one I thought there was. So she's got a nice $4 gun due to De <laughs> Deputy Dingby. Or Dingbeer, whatever he's... What is he? Yep, Dingbeer. He's a bit of a dingus. So he's left her with his 38 revolver. So she's now got a decent weapon. And uh, she can... Because uh, it's only one-handed, she can actually use that with her cross. So she's got a cross and a revolver. Brilliant. Okay, so that is it for Sister Mary. Next up, it will be Rita Young. And here we are with Rita. Now, instead of having an encounter here, she actually gets sucked through to Yogoth. So we'll pop her over here in Yogoth, and you will see her later during the Otherworld encounter phase. As it is, we need to move on to William Yorick, who is at the general store. And here we are with William. Now, general store works just like the curiosity shop. We're using the text encounter under here, and we get to look at three common items off the top of the deck and we have to buy one. Remember, he's got $11. So here's the deck. Now, I'll look through it before to find uh, Deputy Dingby's revolver. So I'll give it another quick shuffle. And a cut. And let's see what he has to choose from. First up is an old journal, which is a tome. Exhaust and spend one movement point to make a law minus one check. If you pass, gain three clue tokens and discard on journal. If you fail, nothing happens. Now, this is good for a dollar. The chance of getting three clue tokens just for a dollar. That is really good card. Next up, we have a rifle, which is also good. Physical weapon, plus five to combat checks. Cost six dollars, two-handed. And the final one is a map of Arkham. Again, for $2, this is pretty good. So, focus. Exhaust to get one extra movement point. Now, we're not going to have that. He's got His movement's okay, so we'll discard that. Now, the rifle or the old journal. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to take the old journal. Because you never know, we might need the clues. So, the rifle's good. But we do have the remote, the revolver, which is plus three, let's be honest. So, yeah. I'm going to spend just one dollar. And he is going to buy the old journal. And you can always pass that over to somebody. Now, you can't, in Arkham Horror, you can't um, trade clues. But you can trade things like the old journal. Yeah? So... That's why we're buying this. It could be extremely useful. We've probably won anyway, to be honest. But uh, nothing wrong with backing yourself up, just in case things go wrong. All right, so that's it for William. Next up is Wilson Richards. And here we are with Wilson at the library. So another stable location. Let's see what it's got for us. Miskatonic deck. A cut. And the library. Oh, there's quite a bit to read here. You find an unusual book that radiates evil at the touch. You begin to read and are drawn into it. Make a law minus two check. I'm glad he's blessed. His law's at four, so he's going to get two blessed dice. We'll use two of these that uh, were so successful for Sister Mary. And, oh, he's failed. Oh, he's failed. 
does he get anything else from anywhere else? No, and he hasn't got any clues or anything either. Oh, failing on two blessed dice. No, what's happened? This could be bad, folks. Right. If you pass, blah, 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 blah. If you fail, the book consumes you. Mind and soul lose two sanity and two stamina. Oh, isn't that awful for a stable location? Two sanity and two stamina. Oh, so he's on two and two now. Oh, that is awful. And uh, I just, I don't think there's anything he can do. No, there's nothing he can use to soak it up. So he now has two sanity and two stamina. So I'll just sort that out, won't be a moment. I'll have to cash in some of his three tokens. Oh, yeah, so that was nasty. So I hope that I didn't actually read what the pass was, but I hope it was good because <laughs> losing two sanity and two stamina, that's tough. Okay, right, oh. So uh, unlucky there for Wilson. And that is it for the Arkham Encounter phase. So next up, it is the Other World Encounter phase. And here we are at the Other World Encounter phase with Rita. I've just moved the Southside Strangler Strikes again. Just moved that Mythos card just out of the way so we can see her. All right, so she's in Yugoth. Now, in Yugoth, we need a blue or a yellow gate card. So here they are. Here's the gate cards. I'll just give it a quick. We'll give it a, we'll give it a cut. And uh, then we keep going till we get a blue or a yellow. Blue. And we do get a Yugoth. Straight up. The creature's grip is like steel. Pass a 5 minus 2 check to break free and escape. Ooh, what's a fight? A fight's five. So that's good. Don't think there's anything else that can help her. So she has got three dice. But she isn't blessed. Oh dear. Oh dear. Where's my shaker? Where's my shaker? Come on, we need a success. And we get two. We get two fives. <laughs> Close. Close, baby. If you fail, we didn't fail. And... Yep, nothing happens, so top banana. She managed to escape. We can get rid of that Yugoth card. And the rest of the gate cards can go back. And that's brilliant. So she's managed to escape going into Lost in Time and Space, which that would have been bad. That would have been really bad. Would have meant we'd have had to, uh, when we eventually got out of Lost in Time and Space, would have meant we'd have had to go into the gate again. So it would have lost us a lot of time. So it's really good that she passed that. Well done to Rita. Okie dokie. That's it for the other world encounter phase. And that means, oh yes, it's the laugh and the chuckle phase. Here we are at the laugh and chuckle phase, so let's get a laugh and chuckle card. Here we go. What have we got? Okie doke. We have got Lodge Members Watch the Night headline. So, yes, yeah, I think this is an okay card. First of all, Gate of the Unvisited Isle, except no, because we have it sealed it. So that's top banana. We have a clue appears at the science building. We should have sent Wilson to the science building. <laughs> but we didn't. So we've got a clue there. Okay. And then we've got monster movement. Which is circles, squares and diamonds. I don't think we've got any. No, it's all crescents, isn't it? Yeah, three crescents, one of which doesn't move anyway. So that's it for that. Then lodge members watch the night's headline. All monsters in the French Hill streets, all locations are returned to the cup. Well, oh, we do. That is, that's, <laughs> that is extremely lucky. The witch house. 
<laughs> yes, it's all rolling in our direction. We're losing the ghost from the witch house. Goes back to the earthbound cup. Pop it in there and we get another stand back. Which is great news. We also don't have to put another doom token out. Yes, this is looking like uh, we should get this finished. We still need two seals, but as so long as Rita can make it through, we've got, who is it? Who's got six clues? It's Sister Mary. We'll have to get Sister Mary into the witch house ASAP. And uh, that's good news. So we'll get rid of that. We don't get rid of Chill of the Grave. That stays. And uh, the Southside Strangler strikes. It's the end of the laugh and chuckle phase, so we are going to lose one of our allies. This doesn't affect the terror track. We just lose the ally. A cut. Okay. Who's going to be killed by the Southside Strangler? Oh, it's Billy Brinton. It's a Billy Brinton. Should have arm wrestled him, Billy. But you let him twist your neck. So, poor old Billy. Bit the dust. And he is a victim of the Southside Strangler. No! Put him up with the others. There we go. Right, so Billy Brinton has been killed by the Southside Strangler. Bad news. Okay, so that is the end of the turn and it went pretty well. Apart from Wilson. Wilson losing two sanity and two stamina. That was pretty bad. <laughs> that was pretty bad. But I think... Ah, and he's got to get... Yeah. I thought, I was just about to say, he's got to get through the werewolf, but the werewolf's elusive. So he should have enough movement to make it to South Church. And, uh, yeah, he can sort of hang around there. I think he might hang around there until such time as somebody loses a blessing or needs one. Um, Rita doesn't particularly need one, as it stands, because she's going to use an Elder Sign when she comes out of Yugoth. But actually, I might bless her anyway, because uh, that was she had a pretty bad encounter there. She, she passed it, but she could have been lost in time and space. So, yeah, I will probably will actually bless uh, Rita, and then everybody will be blessed. Well, that'd be good. Um, other than that, Sister Mary, use the alien statue again. She's got six clues. She can get straight to the witch house. I thought she was going to have to fat... Well, I was wondering whether, like, a combination of uh, her and... Uh, William Yorick might have to try and fight that ghost but as it stands she doesn't have to because uh, the lodge members of the Silver Twilight have uh, have got rid of the ghost for us so she can march straight in there it's only a plus zero gate hopefully she will win the game for us and other than that Rita yeah she's in Yugoth she had a bit of a hairy encounter there but managed to pass so well done her she lost a retainer but who cares we got all the money that we needed off it and uh, fortunately I didn't waste the re-roll from Sister Mary's personal story because we needed it for Wilson. Not that it helped him very much because he rolled two blessed dice and still failed in the library there but uh, yeah let's keep him blessed if we can. Uh, William Yorick yes he got uh, the old journal which is very good so there might be a way he can pass that off to um, Sister Mary, because, uh, yes, just in case she needs some extra clues. So, yeah, he, he might do that, he might not. And so that's it for turn 10. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for all the views. Thank you for all the subscriptions, for all the likes and the dislikes, and for all the help and support. And as always, if you noticed any errors, please let me know. If I can fix them for next turn, I will do. And, uh, yeah, anybody who's been across to Board Game Links to upvote the site, thank you. And anybody who's been on BGG to like the video threads over there, drop a comment, drop Geek Gold, anything like that, thank you so much. It is very much appreciated. Welcome to any new followers on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You're more than welcome, thank you. And yes, that is it for episode 10, as I say. So uh, I hope you will join me for episode 11. But until then, 
This is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo.